Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Snookus, and this is our RimWorld Colony Shimmertown. Um, last time we just um, improved stuff a bit. We started off the episode with a raid, and um, well, which we won quite handily by the use of our traps. And after that, we just well, uh, we started on the rooms and stuff. Anyway, let's get going. I hope you have had a nice day today. I have at least. Psychic drone is ending. Perfect. Best news in a while. A group of travelers from town at the mountain are passing by. Okay, they're welcome over here. We uh, we're willing to trade. Okay. All right. The ex of uh, Kimmy is uh, chilling here. Isn't Kimmy a female? And it was a wife, right? Okay, yeah, cool. Nice to know that they're open-minded here in. Um, outer space. You know what I just saw? I saw the perfect opportunity to place a lamp right here to light up the place a bit. And the same over here. So that they don't get the um, uh, darkness debuff when they walk through the corridor. You might think that's um, I mean, a bit unnecessary but uh, they do actually trigger fittingly enough they trigger at um, the stupidest of stuff, which can make them go into their fits and mental breaks. So let's lev let uh, Kimmy over here have her own bed and same with Wedgie, Peggy. And I can sleep in the hospital for the time being, I suppose. I guess I'm getting the corner, the corner bedroom here, the awkward little room. Um, Let's get some plants, plant pots in these rooms, as well as some lamps. Um, we will have to place a heater here eventually, some place uh, in the whole complex, one as, and one here as well, and probably uh, and one up here, I suppose. We should, uh, or we could, uh, mine out another room here. Let's do that so we can place a vent, a vent between the two, which we should do here as well, and not here, I suppose. What I meant to do here? Why is this a room? And why? why what? Okay, maybe this was supposed to be a vent here, uh, um, a cooler here, to cool down the whole place and not just this. Probably that was probably the plan. Well, um, it's fall and not spring, so we don't have to worry about overheating for another two seasons or so. So that's something we will uh, place on the back burner, for now at least. Wonder joins. Good that I started digging up another bedroom, I suppose. So let's let him have this uh, bed. Um, Frankie. I mean, you know already what uh, what we're gonna do with that name. Hello, close. Thank you. Um, character. I don't know why I started with this stupid naming practice, but now we're stuck with it. So we're, we, I suppose we're gonna have to make do. Okay, so no shooting. Um, decent melee. So he's gonna get a shiv or something, or they have a shiv, a uh, steel shiv. It's uh, it's something we have. Uh, we might have something better, like plasteel, maybe. Yep, yeah, a plasteel knife. So let's send him over here to get that immediately. Uh, he's he has a passion for um, animals, so that's something we could uh, use, I suppose. Maybe we can send him out taming some or something. He's a good cook. He is our future cook. He's our now from now on. He's our only cook. Actually, let's rename this guy Ramsay. And we even still keep our naming convention. Ending with a Y. It's not much from the convention as much as that's like a stupid idea of mine. He is also a basic artist, but nothing really else. But this is great. It, this will mean we can... Um, well, we can uh, free up everyone else from the cooking. Um, duties and just 
four, four. Um, let's do that. And, um, and let them get on with other stuff, like mining and hauling and cleaning, which would be nice. Um, let's place him on everything except hunting. I know, I know. Research. Cool. Let's actually move everyone up on research a little bit. So when they can, they do research. Place him number one on a cook, uh, on the cook um, duty. And now that shouldn't be a worry ever until we lose him in some unfair um, run-in with the raiders. Or some other threat. I don't know. We have some cotton going. Uh, how much cutting have we got? Some. We should try to get that inside as soon as possible. I don't, I don't remember if I meant to make this into my uh, workshop complex or this. I suppose I could make this. The, the room that is left should be should be enough. So um, I think we, we are going to do that. It also means that we have... Um, no, it doesn't actually. Or we just makes it, make it down here. Might, might be easier. Let's make this into a prisoner bed, just so we don't accidentally get someone sleeping there. We got this pig wandering around, which uh, makes me a bit worried. Not not a much, but um, when winter comes and he doesn't have any food, he's gonna attack our dog or one of our fellow colonists if we're unlucky, and if he decides to turn from herbivore to uh, omnivore. I don't know if pigs are omnivore. They might be. Um, yeah, they probably are on the worst. Anyway, um, the cooking is done for now. We have um, six people, so they all have five meals each. Although we also have a dog that eats just as much, so less than five. So like four meals each. So we have enough to survive like three days, three and a, three and a half, something. Which isn't... I mean, it's not great in case of a crisis, but it's enough to sustain us for now. We might have to look over it uh, in the coming days here. The, the thing I mainly want to do is make sure that our stockpile of food is uh, enough for the winter. And I'm quite glad that I left myself enough room that I can expand this freezer when we need to. I might actually do it right now, just, just another layer or two, another row of uh, room here, something like that, just to make sure that we have enough. Um, now, since winter is coming and not uh, summer, we won't have to worry about building another cooler because the cooling is pretty much gonna go about itself, but we still have this in uh, backup. And what do you know? We are cutting plasteel, which is amazing. Building plasteel turrets instead of steel turrets, for example, will mean that they um, can sustain a lot more damage before being destroyed, which is great because otherwise your turrets break all the time and you have to spend a lot of steel to build new ones or repair the ones that are simply hurt. Although I suppose that's the case for plasteel as well. Yeah, but otherwise, research is going good. We got Kimi researching. Uh, Kimi have uh, a decent research and um, she has um, a common in uh, passion. She's interested in learning about research, so she will uh, progress with a steady speed. It will take maybe a season or so before she, she levels up, but uh, when she does, she will be great. Um, other than that, she is our very exceptional doctor. Minor break risk on me, probably because I'm in a dark, damp uh, pit here. Night owl in daytime, what am I doing up then? Past 11. Hey, you. Go to bed. Thank you. Okay, so I won't turn this into my bedroom until we've dug out all the um, plasteel. If it were just steel, I wouldn't bother. Uh, bother. Uh, like I've done here. Um, hey! Stone cutting is done. Now we have to make a workshop. Um, but since the plasteel, which is a lot more... Um, valuable we will uh, make sure to cut everything before and then we will rebuild with steel walls or something not wooden walls because that's a fire trap uh, a, f a death trap uh, for fire if a fire starts in the mountain uh, ok 
Okay, we got a rat. That's, um, well, that's... <laughs> Rats can't really do anything, and... Um, I mean, they can procreate, and they can eat our food, but they won't give us milk, and they, they could give us meat, but I, mean, I don't really think it's worth it. Anyway, uh, let's place them in a the home area for now. We should try to build... We should try to build some some kind of animal pen for um, if we ever get any actual uh, farm animals. So let's uh, dig something out here. We can place um, we can place um, a heater uh, which we can turn off and a cooler which we can also turn off and a lid stockpile with kibble which we can allow them to eat. Um, yeah, that sounds that sounds swell. Let's dig this out as well. That that one as well, I suppose. Uh, increase the room size of this one a bit. Also, let's create a vent here. When this is dug out, we're gonna we can actually do this right now. We're gonna place a vent here so um, the airflow uh, between these rooms are well continuous and. Um, Whichever room we place the heater in will transfer the heat to the other rooms. We won't connect it with the corridor because there's, it's just a waste letting the uh, hot air out into to the corridor and out through the front door and letting it dissipate unnecessarily. Uh, it just takes more um, electricity to keep the place running then. Okay, so another raid coming. Uh, they are attacking immediately. They are five people. Two great bows, two um, a pila, which is also ranged, I believe, and two clubs. So let's make sure that everyone is ready. Call them up over here. We should cut these down now that I see it. Not the greatest of times to do stuff like this, but... Uh... Okay, let's do this then. And that, and that. Um... What was I going to do? Yeah, the dog, right. You are not bond by with Nadi right now, and you're both supposed to go to the safe area. Oh, shit. Let's put it on regular speed. Um, rifle last, pistol first. And actually, the rifles, um, bows uh, last, last. And Ramsey. Hey, hey, you, what are you freaking doing? God damn it. You stupid animal. Well, you made your bed, you can lie in it. Quite literally. Where are these guys coming from? They're down here. Let's see how long they take to get here. Why did they have to attack in the night and um, cause a mood debuff for all of our colonists? I don't know, but uh, well, here they are. What are you doing? I mean, even if they destroy this door, they still have to go through the other. Okay. Just how you want to play it. Everyone, get down here. Get your guns ready. Get your guns ready. Oh, uh, now they flee. Hey, we got a prisoner. Don't break our door, please. Whatever. Whatever. Um. Sure. Let, let's uh, risk my life. Uh, capture Legua. Bunch of clothes, which we always like, which we always appreciate. And a colonist, possibly, uh, which is freezing. So let's uh, build him um, the campfire. A torch lamp, which gives him both warmth and light we, and we're, we're not really hurting for wood are we so pretty much the optimal thing there let's give him uh, herbal medicine since we're gonna hopefully hopefully uh, get a lot here at least some before winter sets in proper uh, how are you looking otherwise you are great with animals you're not incapable of anything you're neurotic unfortunately which will mean Everything will 
No, oh, no, she will work harder, but she will break easier. I suppose that's a reasonable trade-off. Shamrock and interest, not great. Slow poke, not great either. But uh, otherwise, good at shooting. Eh, no, not good, but capable. Um, good with animals. Decent at cooking, so we got a, another cook here, which we, means we can share the burden with the two. Maybe even give, uh, make two stoves. Great at crafting for, well, relative to everyone else. And otherwise, uh, well, decently rounded. So, um, you are welcome to the colony if you want to stay. Uh, recruitment difficulty 99, which means we're going to try for a while. And if we run, start to run out of food or uh, any other resource, like medicine, we will dump her. Possibly cut out one of her organs and try to sell. Which isn't very nice, but you know, she attacked us, so... Quid pro quo. And they ruined our door, so screw them. That's another thing I've been thinking about. We should expand this kill box a bit. And we, when we get the resources, I'm going to replace all this wood with um, stone blocks that uh, doesn't burn down, um, first and foremost, and also are harder to destroy. But let's um, start working on this uh, increase right away. Cargo pods, sounds good. Bunch of leather, Tur turkey leather of all things. Okay. Uh, tree wise, as you can see, the beavers have uh, eaten some, but there's still a lot, and in a few years it, they will, the woods, yeah, the woods will uh, re uh, regrow entirely. Got a dead turtle over here that's rotting, unfortunately. It's still um, positive degrees outside during the days, so things will keep rotting for a while. Right, I forgot to keep, choose a research. And as I said, we're going with guns first, and then we're going to go with bear. How are your needs looking? Imprisoned? Well, yeah, slept in the cold. Shouldn't be that cold. I mean, I do have a torch. It's 22 degrees. I mean, come on. That's pretty much how uh, warm I have it during the night. Okay. Oh, well, not... Not you, really. Thanks. What? Oh, it's... Um, I thought the cement floor was uh, was the top pile. Got a bit confused there. Floors, let's get more concrete. New lovers. I and Kimmy have come together. Sure, that sounds fine. Um, do she have a backstory or something? She's a medical student, space navy doctor. That's really cool. I uh, congratulate myself. I'm an urchin and a VR designer. I'm not, not so sure about that, but you know. Okay, so where is she sleeping? She's sleeping here. We can... Uh, we could do something about that. Let's reinstall this over here. And let's try to get that done right away. Can you do it, Nori? Uh, let's uninstall, which for some, some reason uninstalling uh, makes it in order. Reinstalling doesn't do anything. So you have to do it roundabout like that. And then we should... A royal bed. Don't have the gold. Uh, we should create a big bed. A king size bed. The animal... Is bound to Nadi, so not to Kimmy. Hey, now I think about it, we should make an inside the wall area for our animals as well. So, who's gonna sleep here? I am and Kimmy am. Kimmy are. Um, Kimmy is even. Um, because that's something. Yeah. Cool. We're not going to sleep at the same time, because I'm a night owl, she isn't, but you know, it's the thought it counts, I suppose. No, actually we are. We are both night owls. I for, uh, forgot about that. Hey, look, that was fast. So let's deconstruct this. And we will deconstruct this when... Um, uh, when this is moved. 
So we still have something if uh, we're attacked during the construction. Okay, cool. Let's get a cooler down there. A door. A wooden door is, should be enough. Let's place it there so we can get some more room. And then we can also mine that. And that. Um, we should place a heater here. Bit crowded here already, so let's place it. Actually, let's. How should we do it? I suppose we should have more than one. And also, if we place one here, we can um, went it over to the future hospital as well. What was that? Oh, just Weggy carrying a stone, a rock. Okay, so let's place one here and let's place one here, and then we can uh, vent it over there. Here and there. Yeah. And let's actually dig out this room now, which I have uh, put off for a while. The wonkiest looking room in a while. What are you doing? More cargo pods. Hey, limestone blocks, perfect. Those we're gonna need, although it's a long way to haul, but you know. We also don't want Uh, and the roof here. Good work, Natty. Security, let's place the sandbags a bit more reasonably now. Something like that. Then we can deconstruct these ones. Gets us the steel to actually work on these. Uh, Alright, uh, now before. Before uh, night time and before the end of the episode, I know I've gone above uh, up, uh, a bit too long. I, I know uh, we're gonna make. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's not bother. Bother. Uh, okay, um, that's it for this episode. I'm gonna take a break here and then I'm gonna record the next one. But for now, thanks for watching and please leave a like or subscribe. And um, I see you next time. Have a good one. See ya.